Oh, Shalom, Rastafari. Yes, in order to redeem the time, we record this, and we're just going to get right into this right here. Now, um, in uh, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, our Divine Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Shalase, as King of Kings of Ethiopia, he commissioned for many works of art to be um, created and to be done. One of them is this particular work of art right here. But let's first show it from the, the fullness. Let's zoom out of this right here. All right, let's take about 200. So this is how, a little bit more so we can see the whole area here. Yeah, I think it's this is who actually had posted these up. But this is from some of our brethren and sisterin on the Ethiopian world and then on the Facebook sharing um, art and facts. Um, now, we actually have updated this um, in some respect. You know, we're saying some significant respect. This is actually the Kedistan Gumadium that has been commissioned by the Emperor of Ethiopia. Moan, this is the Emne Gede Yehuda, Edamawi, Haila Shilase, Siyume, Egeziavihir, Negusa Neges, Ze Ethiopia. Right, and you can see the features. So there's been some um, controversy among some unlearned ones concerning, um, you know, whether trying to say that the white or black doesn't matter. The truth matters. You know, because about grace and truth. Now you can clearly see if we zoom in, we zoom in a little bit more. You can clearly see the features. Right, we can clearly see the features right here. Let's take that off. Let's zoom in right here. The features as well as the angels. Let's uh, zoom over here to the angels, the black angels, and the true angels. All right, the Ethiopian angels. You can see them over here and over here. It's truly a beautiful um, work of art that was commissioned by the emperor. We don't know the name of the artist. We know that he had commissioned. Um, uh, Afro work, uh, Tekla as well, who has done some wonderful paintings, Africa Hall being amongst them. We've highlighted some of his paintings and works as well. So we can see this beautiful picture of Kedistin Grimarium and Getachina, Miss Hanantachi, Jesus Christos as a babe. It's a wonderful piece right here. Now, this particular um, picture, let's uh, move this, this is by Atlanta Rastafari artist. So this is contained in this, um, it's like a holy ark right here. And we can tell this especially if we would zoom in over here on His Majesty's cipher. You can see this right here, which is, um, which is actually Kedamawi is Keha She or Keha Nugusu Se Se or Se for Selase, as they say Selase in the Gutters, which is, has a more of a syllabated or She sound. So this is how we know that it's His Imperial Majesty's um, personal, um, we can say logo for lack of a better word. You know, there's some hard terminologies, but to understand it in a Western, in a Western Gentile way, it's like his personal logo or his insignia or his signature, right? And as we zoom out, let's zoom out to about, um, okay, here we go. So we can see this art right here. We can see more of the fuller, the fuller picture right here. All right? Now. Here's where the chigar comes in. Here's where the onslaught of the enemy comes in very subtly, very subliminally because of the careless Ethiopians and because of the, the careless husbandmen of our Ritua Hymenot, of our Tawahido faith. Right? And now let's um, zoom this picture out right here. Let's click on this one, which is actually we had to modify this and correct it. All right, so here, let's move this over here. 
Now, here's the image that we had originally received over here. I don't know if you can see this full. Now, right, let's try to put them side by side so you can see it better, right? Side by side right here. And let's move this one over right here. All right? Do you see the difference? Notice this one right here has a European uh, Catholic, Roman Catholic crucifix on the mezcal, on the processional type of a mezcal. Now, if you study Ethiopia, we, um, Christina Siloch, um artwork, as many have studied it and even studied ancient Ethiopian churchical um, custom and tradition and habits, um, you will notice that processional crosses in 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 Kedistitu, Ethiopia or Holy Ethiopia. This is before the uh, apostasy. We're in a time of apostasy where many things are creeping in, and this is why we have to um, be about due diligence. And so we have to be about study, studying and showing our in ourself approved. Studying and showing ourselves approved to God as workmen that need not be ashamed. Otherwise, these things will creep in and have crept in. And here we see a Roman Catholic type of crucifix. Now, in Ethiopian art, the mezcal and processional mezcal and mezcaloch, and we can actually show you some. I mean, we have um, several that are gifts and have been gifts to I and I as well, I think, one or so that we had um, uh, purchased or redeemed from certain Ethiopian and African art sellers. You know, when you see your art and facts, you have to redeem it, reclaim it. First of all, you have to know what you're looking at and making sure you're not seeing a knockoff or a fake. You know, that's concerning the mescaloge. But... In traditional processional hand crosses, there are no crucifixes attached. There are no images of Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior. You understand? Know attached. You understand? Know in art, yes. In in siloch, yes. You will find that in 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 um, pictures or in paintings, you know, what we call iconography. In fact. Even in Galatians, Hawaria Paulos, when he says, um, isn't Christ evidently crucified before you? If you look up that word evidently, like, like the same as evidence, you will see that it's referring to a si'il, a si'il or si'il, which is a painting. So even in the time of Hawaria Paulos, the great apostle Paul, there were paintings, you understand, of Getach, of Adonai, Yeshua, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, of Yeshua HaMoshiach, of Getach, Getach, Jesus Christos. All right? So a lot of folks will tell you a lot of contradictory things, but obviously either they are ignorant, either they are unlearned, unschooled, or either they are deceivers. So if they know the truth and are not speaking the truth and standing up for the truth, they don't have a love of the truth, and therefore Jah sends on them strong delusion. But if you have a love of the truth, then you seek the truth. You understand? Because it's the truth that shall set us free. These are the words of our Master, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, of Yeshua HaMashiach. So right here you'll see that and when we looked at this picture, we just looked at the the mother, it is in Gamarium, and of Gietaiesus, and of uh, Lijwa Iesus, of her child, her son, our Lord and Savior, as a babe. But then we see this picture right here. Now let me zoom this in so you can see. You can, if, if you've looked at this um, um, Roman crucifix. Right, if you looked at it before, let's uh, zoom in right here. All right, can you see it? Can you see what they have done? Can you see what they have done? Now, 
Some people think this warfare is like political. Some people think that it's economical. Some people think it's cultural. You understand? These are all just different battlefields. You know, it's, it's a spiritual warfare. And um, art is used. You understand? When we understand the power of art, um, we're just watching a, a program about subliminal, um, subliminal art or subliminal suggestion. I mean, some really satanic um, um, subliminal suggestion in so-called Christian art, mainly Romano Catholicos art. Mm. And um, this is just an example, but but you see how it has crept in. In other words, they still keep this because it's a very beautiful picture. You know, and they still keep the picture. It still has his majesty, his majesty's um, seal on it. But you can clearly see they have put this uh, Christos to cower me here, and even this act of 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 keeping Christ on the cross. I mean, there's a, there's a whole teaching of um, when they have statues uh, depicting, it's like in that Damien or Omen movie. You remember the movie, the Damien or Omen movie, um, um, when Damien was growing up and he was getting to politics and stuff and in his basement or something like that, he had like a life-size um, um, crucifix of uh, like a lifelike so-called uh, Jesus, right? And um, what he was, the rituals that he was doing. So this is a mockery. Mm -hmm. The only places that the, the true crucified form of Christ is even truly permitted is in art, as in, as Hawaii Apollo says in Galatians. Yoga, so now, upon seeing this, this greatly disturbed us. It took away from its true beauty because... Our eyes, spiritually, through the Holy Spirit and our faith in, in, in the Father, in the name of Geta Yesus, our eyes being open, we immediately caught it. The first time we saw it and we recognized, well, this is His Majesty's, um, this is the painting that His Majesty commissioned, we were greatly delighted when we saw this in Gamadium and Lijwa and her son, our Lord and Savior as a babe, we were very delighted with it. In fact, we didn't even notice it at first, how subliminal art can be. We didn't even really recognize that first. Only later on when we said, let's look at this painting again, did we see the blasphemy? You know what I'm so before you look at this, this is right there. And where is it? Now, if, if we would look at um, let's see if we, let's see if this is if this is right here. Let's see if this is right here. If we can look at it again, okay. If you look at it here, right? When we zoomed in on this one, we can't see it so clearly. We don't know if there's one up here. I don't know if you can see up at the top up here. It's kind of hard. It's not a, a resolution. is is poor on this particular picture right here, right? So we'll try to zoom in on it and see if those who might have uh, better discerning eyes can see. Do you see anything here? It, it looks like something here, or does it? Kind of like, right? It seems like that's it there. So you can tell this was attached. You can see that it's attached, and it's somewhat, but, but it, it really seems different. One seems like a wooden one. And, and it's, it's, it's hard to tell, but we do not think so, but still, it, it looks, it appears as though. From, from looking through the monitor of the camera, I, how you all be seeing it, it doesn't seem so. You understand? When we compare this, right, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. When we compare this, right, let's take it to, right, when we compare this, now this is the one that we modified. This has been modified. So we're going to distribute this. You understand? Um, this has been modified right here to reflect the truth and take away the, the satanic suggestion, this deformed Jesus that it has here. Now, some will be offended because you're unspiritual and you don't love the truth. 
You know, there's an Ethiopian crosses, processional crosses, never had. In other words, there were never statues hanging around Ethiopia, probably now because, you know, it's a state of apostasy. But, I mean, and this is all documented, documented for hundreds of years. But now it seems like two different crosses if you look at it. You could tell these two different crosses right here. So we don't know the date of this one, right, and the date of this one. We don't know who took these pictures, but we're going to ask other brothers and, and sisters who are there if they can, you know, check this out. And one of the Beta Christian, it should not be too hard to, to find out which particular Beta Christian this particular um, a painting, His Imperial Majesty's Kedistin Gamari. All right? But, um... This seems like a different one because the one we looked up at the top is um, there's a cross at the top, right? And it seems to be the same thing, right? It doesn't appear to have, you know, there's something here, but what about the arms? It doesn't appear to have if you if you notice the differences. You understand? One thing about the the um, the Catholic. Um, symbol, the Roman symbol, you could tell this one, he's like squirming or something right here. It's very, it's very awful. You understand? It's extremely awful. And this is one reason why um, when Ethiopia was still um, maintaining, um, contending vigorously for the faith, these differences were known and noticed by ancient Ethiopians. You know, and, and they were documented by some of the first Europeans. And we have the documentation. Documentation is there. In fact, one of the easiest documentation to see is in the fact that when you look at all the handheld crosses, right, all the handheld crosses, let's see. Um, You can see right here. You see these these are handheld crosses. Burhan Yehun Ale. You see these are handheld crosses and there's no crucifix on these handheld crosses. And there's so many of these which have been documented. You understand? And there's and some writers have even gone into some detail. You understand that the Ethiopians, unlike the Catholics, did not do that. You understand? Because he's resurrected. He's not on the cross no more. Keeping him on the cross is like a mockery. You understand? Even the early Gnostics overstood that, the Christian Gnostics. This is why they were persecuted. This is why they're still blasphemed to this very day. You over they, they noticed these things and they stood up. And the remnant of them made it to Ethiopia. You understand? And shared such knowledge and helped to maintain the true faith. So you can see this right here, that none of these have any white man or even any black man or anybody representing Jesus on it. Like we said, in paintings, yes. You understand? In paintings and painted images, yes. Because, um, as we say in the scriptures, um, in Galatians, uh, Galatians, um, Let's just go here so you can have this um, artillery and go search this out for yourself. In Galatians, right, uh, 3 and 1, it says, Oh, foolish Galatians. We can say, Oh, foolish, who hath bewitched you that ye, y'all, and unto Hulachu should not obey the truth before whose eyes, it says, Jesus Christ, have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Now, if you look that up, Galatians 3 and 1, you will find, let's move this over so we can show the, all right, so yeah, you will find that in Galatians uh, 3 and um, 3 and 1, that word evidently, you understand, evidently means pictured. All right, it means picture. Let's 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 open this right here since we since we've gone this far. 
you know, understanding with this, it's, it's very important for us to um, to make note of these things and to give you as much evidence. So we got to redeem the time because the days are evil, right? So here, as we go forward, um, as we go forward right here, this is this is what they were speaking about, all right? This is this is what they were speaking about. Evidently pictured before you. Evidently pictured. Right? This is what it's talking about. Now how do we know that? Well, let's go to the scripture for a moment. Let's study. Alright? Let's study. This is what it's talking about. Alright? Jesus Christ evidently pictured before you. Alright? When we go to Galatians, let's bring this up. Galatians. Alright? Um, Galatians, let's move this over. Galatians 3 and 1. Alright, 3, chapter 3. Alright, chapter 3, um, verse 1. Alright, let's see. This program's a little slow here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I'm going to do here. Okay, here we go. Take it like that. Three. Three right here. Three and one. You see what it says? Oh, foolish Galatians. Now let's uh, turn on the study, the Bible view option. This is when you want to study it, right? We're going to go to the strong numbers. And then we're going to click right here with this show strong number. We could click apply, but we just say okay and it's going to be automatically applied. Now see what it says, half evidently, right, it says, uh, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? The old word says, who hath done what? Bewitched you. That ye should not obey the truth. So when people are not obeying the truth, it means that they must be bewitched, right? They must be bewitched, right? It says, that they should not obey the truth before whose eyes the Jesus Christos has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. You see where it says evidently set forth? This ray, this part right here. Right? Now notice this, it says forty G forty two seventy. Right? Now here it says pro grapho pro in favor of being graphic, graphically displayed, pro grapho. It says to write previously, to announce, to prescribe. Now people say, wait, it was written. But now let's get a clearer, clear, and let's go to the mental health caduce of Negus Neges. And let's go to Galatians here. All right? So we're in the hard software right here the Yota or the Iota, and we're clicking on Galatians. We've got a couple of windows open up here, but just give it a moment. Galatians. So prographo, if you understand the Greek, prographo doesn't mean to be written. It can be used in a written sense because drawing, like they give me a draft. Give me a draft of that. So here by Marinya, it says, yeah, Matasa tolu ye galatia so choi. Ye matas tolu ye Ethiopia so choi. Be oinachu, seat Jesus Christos in the tesekala hono. Teslo or teslo never. Le eunet in that tazazu. Azim ya de regabachu mano. Right? So let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little clearer, a little deeper. So over here, we're going to bring up, we're going to bring up the strong numbers right here. Now, we already read it in them hark, and it's very clear in them hark what prographo is. Right? What prographo is like when we say, give me a draft of what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And if you give a draft, you might, you might have words, but you might draw a, a picture to describe. Here it says prographo. Right? And it says, um, prescribe before, ordain, evidently set forth. Now, some would tell you it's writing. But for Enanta Etopia, we are known. What does this mean? It says, the Ainachu feet, 
Jesus Christos in the Tesekh Lehono Teslo, right? Teslo never, I mean that it is drawn. Teslo or Teslo never. And this is what we're speaking of right here. That's what it was talking about. Not on a cross the way the Romanists do. All right? So, and also the skull, too, in older, more traditional Ethiopian paintings, you understand, was pictured in the same place that you see the additional with the blood, that, that, that salvation, that redemptive blood overcoming death. That's what the skull and the bones down here being symbolic of. All right? So, here's what we had to do with this right here. Let's just bring this over on the side. Right? Bring this over on the side and bring this to the front. Right? And we'll actually bring this to the front. We had to take out Antichrist. You know what I'm saying? We had to take out Antichrist and restore it to the traditional Ethiopic way. If it must be a cross, let it be a cross. But this guy, you understand, is a guy. He's not our Lord and Savior. And even if it was black, you understand, being pictured or being as a statue, keeping him on the cross, you understand, is blasphemy. It's blasphemy. So I hope you can see the difference between the two. And um, I know after we put this out, ones and ones are going to, you know, hopefully probably be looking for this, so we're going to have to put this up. So look forward after you see this. If you don't, if you see the vid and you don't see the pic, then just remind us. We'll make sure we put it, post it as many places as possible. All right? All right. So my brothers and sisters, shalom. Rastafari, pass it on to others, download it, post it on different um, on different um, media sharing um, platforms and sites because many of our people through the YouTubes always cannot see certain vids and in their countries, certain countries block YouTubes in particular. So um, please, with all due diligence, um, be practical and lend service as your skills and as your willingness. If you have the means, the motivation, and the opportunity, then may job bless you and your household too. So once again, Shalom Rastafari Ine Rasyadinos Tafarine. This is Wendem Yadin reporting for the Lion of Judah Society, Moa and Bethlehem Negeda Yehuda Machiver, and broadcasting presently on the Ethiopian World Net on the YouTubes. Shalom.